Hey, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Here we're going to be looking at differentiating exponentials and logarithmic functions. Let's present the results. First for the log, say if the function f is equal to the log, natural log of x, where x is, the function is only defined for x bigger than 0 because you can't take a log of a negative number. To recap, here is what a log function looks like. So you can see it undefined for positive values of x. Here is an asymptote that goes towards minus infinity. Okay, then the result is this. The derivative of f with respect to x is equal to 1 over x. First result second result. So we have a function called h which is log of a function of x. So this is a composite function or a function of a function. Using the chain rule we can show that the derivative of this h is going to be a derivative is derivative of f over the function. Okay, and that can be proved using the chain rule. That's logs then, that's the two rules for the logs. Exponential. Okay, so say we've got h is equal to exponential some function of x then this is also composite function or chain function of a function 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 of a function and we can use show using a chain rule that this is going to be equal to derivative of f times by e to the f like that okay examples well, let's start with this one. Let's go backwards. Examples. Let's say h is equal to the e to the ax, where a is any old number on the real line. And you can see here that derivative of h respect to x, derivative of f, well, that's ax, Let's make this, let's go back, let's make this clear. And we can see here that f is equal to a times x. And what we have is h dash is equal to the derivative of f with respect to x, well that's a times that function. a e to ax, done. Alright. And that works for any number a. So in other words, we've just shown another formula here. But not really, because we've got it here. Alright, so if a is, say, minus 2, this is going to be minus 2. That's going to be minus 2. Second example, log. Let's do, Well, that one's simple, so I'm, let's move up to the first one again. Let's look at logs. Say we've got function log of 2x plus 3, let's call this function h, then derivative of this thing, remember the rule says it's 1 over this function, so it's 1 over what's in the brackets, 2x plus 3, and then multiply by the derivative of this thing in here with respect to x, that's just 2. So there you go. And this function, the derivative of this function, exists so long as 2x plus 3 is bigger than 0. So, yeah. so we'll call it, this is only part of the answer, this derivative. We've got a state for the values of x that this can happen. So this can happen when 2x minus plus 3 is bigger than 0. So we rearrange for x, you can show that then that, see that then it exists for x bigger than minus 3 over 2. Okay, third example. Mm, what, shall, what shall we do? Let's just do it randomly. Let's 
do an exponential. Uh -huh. Yep, squared e to the x squared plus x plus one. Derivative of this thing. Derivative of this. Two x plus one. And then write down this. And you can see that this exponential exists for all x in the real line. So the derivative is defined for all x in the real line. Let's think about one more. Let's. Uh, I think the uh, it's easy to remember the rules for the exponential and the logs. So let's chuck in something. Let's add something else. Let's consider this function. Let's try something more testing. Let's call it h equal to the log of x squared plus 1 over x minus 1. Aha. Uh -huh. So we let's uh, apply the formula. So first of all we want 1 over this thing. Well first of all let's just see that this is in the form of like so. So therefore I know that the derivative of h respect to x is going to be 1 over f multiplied by the derivative of f respect to x. So let's get to these two bits. Well 1 over f is equal to since this whole thing is f1 over it, just flip it upside down because um, consider that because that's that's the rule. Let's do a little thing here. Um, so if we want the um, no a over b if we want 1 divided by a over b that is the same as saying 1 times b over a okay because well, let's go back even further recall you might have see, you've seen in school something like oops something like this oh, not not times divide a fraction a over b divided by c over d you can turn it into multiplication by a over b times by and then reverse this d times over c like that so that's what i've done here where a and b here are one uh, same numbers so it's just one okay that is a trivial thing so that's one over f dealt with and next we want um, to deal with um, the derivative of f, that's whole thing's f, you can see here it's a quotient so I can apply quotient rule or indeed I could turn it into a product of two things and apply the product rule let us use the uh, quotient rule so doing so I can see that I get a top bit I'm assuming you've done the quotient rule already so this is more like practice I'm gonna not talk in detail on how I'm getting these terms the quotient rule here. Okay. Let's tidy it up. So you can see some terms in here are going to be in there as well. X squared term. There's an X squared term. So it's worth expanding the brackets. minus 1 through the bracket plus 1 is minus 1 This is showing you working, so let's call this equation because we're going to want to do some substitution. Let's call this star. Let's call this one, one over f equation one. F prime. Let's call it two. 